Hello Aquarius, this is Crystal with We Are Magic. I am doing a new moon in Taurus reading for you guys. Um, <clears throat> also, it's your monthly reading and I'm sorry these are coming out so late. I was in the hospital if you don't know, but I'm here. I'm still blessed to be alive. So there you go. Um, Aquarius, if you're new to my channel, I'm Crystal. And We Are Magic is a spiritually based channel. And we do tarot here. It's not always about tarot. Um, it's just more about learning to embody your higher self and to appreciate our ancestors and the ancestral way. Okay. Um, it's about walking away from religion, you know, and going into spirituality, your true path, opening your pineal gland things of that nature. Okay. So with that being said, if you're into those shenanigans, click the notification bell, subscribe, stay up to date on when I post videos. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So tuning into your energy for Aquarius. Whew. Got dizzy guys. What's going on with you guys? Tuning into Aquarius spirit. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck. Now, normally Aquarius, what I do is I'll pull the card for the, noon, the, the moon phase that we are in, and I'll just read the definition and what to expect during this um, moon phase. But what I'm doing this time around is actually letting spirit choose the cards that we need to most know at this time, okay? Make sure I got this mic on right. Sorry about that, guys. I want to make sure you hear me. I got my camera pretty far away, so. And I'm facing it towards me so I can see what's going on. Because Aquarius, if you're not aware, we are in several retrogrades right now. And um, we have Pluto, the Scorpio home planet. We have Saturn. And um, Pluto is different because Pluto is like the death card, okay? And the death card in tarot is Scorpio. So it's trans transition, 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 um, moving from what no longer serves you, um, just killing something that no longer serves your life, just ending it, removing it, okay? So Pluto is about that life. So even though you may think the things that you're wanting or have in your life is like everything. Pluto sees right through that stuff and goes, nah, that's an attachment. And we don't do attachments in the spiritual realm. Okay. All right. So let's see who we got. Wow. This is a third horoscope that got this is third. Wow. Balance, spirituality and practicality. I think. Gemini got this and maybe Libra. Can't remember. Balance spirituality. I know Gemini got it. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So what your higher self is needing you to do, Aquarius, is to balance, okay? Um, balance your life in a more practical manner. You may be going just balls to the wall, Aquarius. And um, they want to make sure that you don't do that. And that you take care of yourself and um, just work on doing what's best for you, Aquarius. Okay. Um, Aquarius, this is the card that you got for the new moon in Pisces. That's full moon in Pisces. Sorry, my bad. Aquarius, I'm tired. Um, I was going to try to go have bust out these readings, but <laughs> I can't. Channeling wears you out, but y'all already know that. Okay, full moon in Pisces in this new moon in Taurus <laughs> reading. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. Meditate, meditate, meditate. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, 
This card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake, Aquarius. So, I mean, spirit knows all. So you can act like something and spirit will call your out. You know what I'm saying? A tune with the moon is this, Aquarius. <clears throat> Meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. So anytime you feel like you're out of balance or anytime you feel like you need answers, Aquarius, just turn your mind off. Turn the chatter off. Go into the void of mother, into the darkness, because darkness is not wicked, Aquarius. Wicked is wicked. Darkness, dark and light are one and the same, yin and yang. We are all one in source. And my candle just went bloop, 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 bloop as confirmation. Okay. All right. You're in a super romantic, but not super realistic state, Aquarius. So if it's not making sense, then it probably isn't for you. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. Sorry. Ooh, gosh, Pluto retrograde, I'm telling you. Avoid substance abuse. I don't think y'all have to worry about that. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. Isn't that crazy? I was just talking about Pluto. When the moon is, in full, is full in Pisces, or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with the numinous Piscean energies that have no borders, so feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces, and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. So basically, they're wanting you to um, manifest, to tap into that inner mystic, that inner psychic. Um, set your intentions. Work on the practical nature of your life to where it makes more sense. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Beautiful. And now I'm about to get the spirit pouches. I hate that. It's always burpy. Ugh. Why is it just gas and spirit? Why? Energy. That's what we need. But gas belches? Gross. And I'm drinking ginger ale, so that's not helping. Ah, so good. It's good for my tummy. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do it different for you guys. I was going to pull tarot, but for some reason, they want me to pull angel cards next. So let's see what angels are supporting you during this new moon cycle in Taurus, okay? Now, with Taurus, this is what's so funny. You know, they're stable, they're practical, you know, earth sign, dependable, the bull, stubborn, all the things, but they also deal with the throat chakra, okay? So you'll want to speak your truth a lot, Aquarius, um, especially with all these retrogrades and all these endings and beginnings and you got Mercury coming up soon and you know how people get mean with Mercury. I don't know why it's like that. And I think it's just because of electronics and communication. So just be mindful. The energies are a little amped right now. Okay. Some of us can't sleep. I'm on prednisone from the, the Crohn's thing. So that's why it's hard for me to sleep right now. But I don't think it's just prednisone. I think it's truly the energies. I was getting like this before. I got sick, you know, no, 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 no. So yes, Aquarius, sun, moon rising. What angel guidance do we have for Aquarius? I know I usually cut up more of you guys, but I really want to get this reading out to you. You know, Ma's watching me. Got to be serious sometimes. She's serious. She's not always serious. She has shenanigans as well. That's why we vibe. Um, let's see what angel guidance you have. What's the angel guidance for Aquarius for the new moon in Taurus? Shit looks like destiny. Shaman Destiny Raven. She's an Aquarius. I'm trying not to read her in this reading, but look, she comes out anyway, don't she? Look at this, Destiny. Why uh, are you standing over me watching me right now? But yes, you have the guardian angel, guys. <laughs> Just get this girl. I can't. She's my sister. What do you do? Okay, guardian angel is who's supporting you, Aquarius, with your spoiled self. See, y'all always come out spoiled. All right. So, um, Destiny comes out, my friend. She looks just like this. Follow her channel, Sweet Spirit of Light. 
And she has sweetspiritoflight.com too. She has merch and everything. Anyway, so she does readings. She's amazing. Well, maybe she doesn't have. Do you have merch at this? I sworn I've seen something on here. I'm tired. Anyway, so let me look up the, the extended messages for you guys. Gosh, this is ridiculous. You are an independent soul Aquarius and often find yourself trying to do everything on your own. I didn't say it. They said it. Don't be mad at me. But know that even just a quick prayer to your guardian angel can take away some of that pressure. Your angel wants to hear more from you in order to support you fully. They must be invited to do so. That's your higher self talking, by the way, sis. And bruh. <clears throat> But then no request is too much. Your angel guide was made for you and is dedicated to you. <laughs> they sure are. Take time today for an easy and informal conversation with them. Speak openly and in a heartfelt way about your life. Any challenges you are facing and anything you need help with. Through that conversation, their help will find its way to you. When you draw this card, they want you to know they are with you and she is one of my guardian angels all aquarians in my life are my guardian angels <laughs> my mom is an aquarius destiny destiny's one of my best friends she's an aquarius um i have another friend courtney she's an aquarius i have angie b she's an aquarius i mean like i am surrounded by aquarians i mean they're all around me and it's like they all are just assigned to me to keep me in line or something i don't know but yes, guys, call on your higher self, call on your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. I mean, the whole crew, your elementals. I mean, you have a whole connection of guides that were assigned to you that you handpicked before you incarnated here. You were like, I need you, 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 you. Come on. We got to go help Crystal. She's a hot mess. Okay. So now we do tarot. Mm -hmm. I can feel y'all like... What do you want to say? Let's find out. Whew. Thank you, spirit. Whew. What I'm doing is clearing the energies. The cards don't want to shuffle, which to me always indicates they're clear, but I like to do it three times because I'm hard headed. See, I'm hard headed. This is for Aquarius spirit, sun and moon rising or anywhere. That is in their charts. That's a little fly away. So we're just going to leave that there. Anywhere it is prevalent in their chart. Thank you, spirit. Oh, there we go again. Y'all are flipping out. Didn't think they're going to do that. Well, they're coming out. All right. I want them nice and shuffled, baby. I want them nice and shuffled. I'm gonna go ahead and start placing these cards out here to see what's really going on. And then we are going to pull. Okay. First card was this. Oh, wow. King of Pentacles is how you're stepping into this new moon cycle. Money, 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 money. So yes, King of Pence. So um, energy this month is bringing you is the king of pentacles, success, abundance, balancing the budget, higher mind, growth, potential, earth, material, family, support, you know, all the things, grounding. That's what this month is bringing you. The second card that came out, something to move past is temperance. Okay. So guys, you know how you got balance. <laughs> Spirituality and practicality. Yes. So um, they want you to move past the hustle and the bustle and the stress and all the things. And they need you to be more balanced, more yin yang, more accepting. Um, see how this angel has his foot on the land and in the water. And he's pouring from one cup into another. Ask for help, guys. Okay. Don't let your cup run over to where you wear yourself out or, or don't empty your cup. 
to the point where you are wore out is what I mean. Um, balance your life. Okay. The next card that came out benefiting you this month, you got the sun. Unexplicable joy, happiness, abundance, growth, success, prosperity, power. Guys, Aquarius. Really? Spoiled rotten, like I always say. Y'all are spoiled. Y'all are so spoiled. Source loves y'all so freaking much. Look who came through. <laughs> Who's benefiting or what's your spiritual growth? King of Swords Aquarius came out for you. So here's you guys. So yes, higher mind, higher self. Your higher self is coming through. Like I said, your angels, you know, the higher dimensional beings are coming through for you guys. Okay. Um, that's what your spiritual growth is this month. You embodying your higher self and accepting it. It's not a bad thing. Your higher self knows what's best for you. You think you know what's best for you, but, but your higher self knows what's best for you. Um, advice and encouragement about this month. You're going to die. What do y'all get every time? What do y'all get every time? This is for my Aquarians that are subscribed to me. The star. Spoiled. Y'all saw how I shuffled these this time. I really tried hard this time. Okay, so spirit loves you as usual. So advice and encouragement this month is renewal. Aquarian energy. We're the stars. We're so special. We're Aquarius. I'm a hater because I love you. You're our family. I cut up with y'all more than anybody. I don't know why. Everyone else, I'm like either serious or I'm more sensitive to their needs. But when it comes to Aquarius, I just don't know why. I pick one y'all so hard. <laughs> because I just love seeing people win. And y'all, I know it feels like you're not winning sometimes. But y'all are so blessed. I just wish y'all realized, like, if y'all would just look at things, like, from the hanging man perspective, you will see. Yes, your life has been hard, Aquarius. Everyone's has. Um, but you're so freaking supported. And the reason why your life was so hard is because of how badass you really are. You got the sun. You got the star. You got the king of swords. You got the king of pentacles and temperance. Come on now. Under the deck energy. <laughs> you're going to laugh. <laughs> Balance. Guys, got to balance. This is overall energy. They want you to be more balanced. Okay? You know, light, dark, positive, negative, yin, yang. Okay? Balance. Balance. All right? You're going to be busy this month because you're being blessed. So you're going to have to learn how to balance your life, balance, you know, pen of the pentacles. Yes, it's money, but it's earth. All right? So the material aspects of your life, you're going to have to learn how to balance that. Lord Jesus. I hadn't said the J word. You got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> I mean, Lakshmi energy coming through. You hear me? Lakshmi is like, you want money, baby? Here, take it. Take this money. Yes, you're coming out of this <laughs> Nine of Wands. You know, you're battered, you're bruised. It's been hard, but you didn't give up. You know why you didn't give up? Because you're a fucking star, Aquarius. You're a star. That's why you don't give up. You're hurt. It sucks. And some of you have had a tower moment. Now, tower moments are not bad. Okay. This may be where um, some things are coming to an end that's not serving you. All right. The tower sucks at the time because a lot of the times it means what you thought was best for you was not in the universe. This, the universe does this. Source does this. Okay. So... This person's in the tower. You see the lightning coming down from the sky and knocks them out of the tower. And um, they are now kicked out of their comfort zone. And this is what your higher self does for you. Kicks you out of that comfort zone. You can't grow if you're steady hiding in your comfortability. Okay? Because you've got success and pentacles and all the things coming to you. And then, look, last card is the ten of pentacles. More growth and money. Y'all have a lot of money going on in your life this new moon cycle under Taurus, Aquarius. I mean, can we have some money? Shit, just kidding. All right, beautiful reading. I love it. Let's see what divine power affirmation y'all have since y'all are just so badass right now. Okay, this is for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. The winners of the tarot reading as usual. I'm a hater, I'm just playing. Everybody's readings have been pretty good. Every freaking one of them. It seems like we're all coming out of this harsh cycle of lessons and growth. I never said, 
and then the candle flickered. So yes, so that's confirmation. I love when my candles talk to me, especially on my ancestor altar. Oh my God, I'm like nowhere near my altar, right? And I see my candle over there and I look over there and I have my pictures of my ancestors and my family and I go, y'all good? And then the candle goes, oh, wait. good, good. If you're good, I'm good. We're all good because I am my ancestors. They live through me. I'm a vessel for them at any moment of the time, day, space continuum. I am not only a vessel for this ma here, I am a vessel for my ancestors. Since the beginning of source creation, that's since zero point. And that's who I represent. And now I'm getting another spirit belch. Oh, whoa, it's driving me crazy. We'll split it. <laughs> I'm splitting them. You can order these from xtinajerry.net. That is x-t-i-n-a-g-e-r-i.net. Christina Jerry. You can also follow her on Instagram and Facebook. Aquarius, you got this. Sacred. Of course you are. Of course you're sacred because you're just spoiled or rotten by source. I am my own sacred space. This is your affirmation for the new moon. I am my own sacred space. When I create this in myself, I can have this in others. They are really telling you to balance your life. This was your whole reading. You got to balance it because you're about to have some money. I am my own sacred space. When I create this in myself, I can have this in others. You're sacred. I can just feel y'all laughing at me and I don't care. Here, I'll be a clown for y'all. All right, Aquarius, that is your reading. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you all so, so much. And remember, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, you should be happy. I shouldn't get any dislikes with this reading because you guys are winning all over the place. And if you dislike it, then you're just a sour pussy I love you. And please, again, subscribe if you what more shenanigans i'm going to start doing these readings right here like this i normally face my readings to my cards because i don't want people to see me because you know if you want to get in front of the camera you got the makeup on you got to try to look halfway decent and i just don't feel like doing that stuff but i'm gonna start doing it for my babies yes i am my divine divine mystics i love you all so much and remember we are magic and we are one. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Have a great May and a great new moon and get those manifestations and intentions going. I love you, Aquarius. Talk to you later.